Hey Jennifer, so I'm looking at the problem you sent me that says that boron has a lower first ionization energy than beryllium does. <clears throat> this kind of goes along the lines of um, exceptions to the rule. If you recall ionization energy, as we look at a periodic table, it's going to increase as we go to the left to the right and from bottom to top, kind of like this. Now, why is it that this is an exception to the case? Well, if you remember, there's electron configurations, right? So, if you draw the electron configuration for beryllium, you're going to have, basically in the outer shell, okay, a 1s2, that looks like this, versus boron, S2, one. Looks like this. In regards to ionization energy, it's a lot easier to pull something away, like pull away a electron, and basically make a complete subshell than it is to take one from a complete subshell and make this. Okay? That's pretty much the reason. Um, another good example for this is when you have something that looks like this. versus this. Okay. So, sorry. Here you go. So, if you can see this, which I hope you can, the one on top is going to be much harder to um, take an electron away from than the one on the bottom. Because one on top is complete. But the one on bottom is, you know, it's got like one little thing right here that's complete. And it's a lot easier to take this off and have a complete subshell that is just all up, 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 than to take one from here and then, you know, have not a complete subshell. So it kind of goes along the lines of, um, I think one would be, let me think here, three, let's see, the one on top, I think, is going to be two, three, nitrogen, and one on the bottom is oxygen. So you're going to see the same trend in regards to that as well. Um, let me see here. What you said about um, calcium and zinc, that is correct in, in the sense that um, zinc, because it has a more positive effective charge, it kind of clumps the electrons together, making it smaller. Calcium, because it has a less effective nuclear charge it does not have a, a strong an attraction to the other electrons as zinc might. Okay?